I'm very glad that I watched As Above, So Below after visiting the catacombs in Paris, because I think had I watched this film first, I may have been a little bit too nervous to actually go down. So this will be a spoiler-free discussion. There will not be any spoilers. So if you haven't seen it yet, you're free to listen to this, but I do encourage you to watch this. It's one of the most terrifying films I've seen. And that's mostly because of the claustrophobic feel, the fact that it's set deep underground. But we'll talk more about why it's scary in a moment. I will say, first of all, that the catacombs are wonderful. If you get a chance to visit them, you must. I queued for four hours in the baking sun to get into the catacombs, and it was worth every second. This film is almost as ex- as almost as spectacular as actually being there. So this was released in 2014. I first watched it a couple of years after that. I think to when I went to Paris in 2015. So maybe I saw this the year after. And I'll read the description from IMDb and then talk a little around that. So from IMDb. When a team of explorers ventures into the catacombs that lie beneath the streets of Paris, they uncover the dark secret that lies within the city of the dead. Which sounds incredible. I will say now, this film wouldn't have worked if it was set anywhere else. If it was set just in some kind of random underground tunnel system, it wouldn't have had the same atmospheric feel. It wouldn't have been as intimidating because it is colossal. And what this does is really highlight how vast the catacombs are. As far as I'm aware, the the bits you're allowed into as a a tourist are minimal. There are so many other closed off corridors and very quickly you can become lost in them as we see here. Now the team of explorers do break in and they end up in some very dark and disturbing parts of the catacombs and they find some very creepy things there. And I... I don't know if I should classify this as a horror or a thriller. I think it's marketed as both, but for me it's more of a thriller. The the threat very much... There are are tangible threats, but for me watching it, the biggest fear factor was the atmosphere, the catacombs. The fear of never being able to get out of them again and getting stuck in them. And as I said, only a small amount open to tourists. So it's not as if they'd be discovered the next day when it opens for tourists. It's obviously very dark down there. There's water. It's obviously everywhere you turn there are skulls due to the nature of the catacombs. And in real life, that's fantastic and so thrilling. But in the film, it's so intense and I don't think I breathed once. That's a slight exaggeration, but it it really is so gripping and and, and enthralling and honestly, one of the most disturbing films. I hate, well, I love to hate films that are set underground or in potholes or caves where it feels claustrophobic and like you're never going to get out. Kind of like The Descent. If you've seen The Descent and liked it, you'll definitely love this. I would say that this is not a good film to watch if you have never really seen any horrors or thrillers. If you're just trying to get into the genre, hand on heart, I feel like this would be too intense. It is brutal. But if you are comfortable with films that will make you weep with fear, then as above, so below, you have to watch it. It is incredible. As I said, I went to the catacombs before watching it. If you can, I advise you to do that. But then, on the flip side, if you watch this film first, you might get some more knowledge of the catacombs before you go. So I guess there are pros and cons. Either way. Um, Yeah, if you've seen it, let me know what you think of it. If you haven't, then you must. It's incredible. But, you know, if you're not overly comfortable with horror, maybe proceed with caution.